All right, guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode of Break 64. Today, I'm playing 18 holes, one video, and the goal is to shoot 64 or better. Just a little left, but it's absolutely perfect. All right, 111 yards. I got 54 degree. This is a little back pin. It's just a perfect number for kind of a just a stock 54. Ooh, I like that number a lot. I think it's perfectly pin high. I got about 12 feet. Okay, I left myself with a perfect little uphill putt, a little left to right, about 12 feet. This is a really, really perfect place to be. Oh, that feels great. Let's just do that 18 times today. Can't birdie them all if you don't birdie the first. Hole number two, par five, goes a little bit to the left around the water. I want to try to hit something right over these bunkers, and I'm going to try to hit a little draw, and if it doesn't draw, it should be perfect. Oh, it's drawn perfectly, but it's not quite enough. Ah, that'll be just right at the fairway, but the beautiful thing is that's exactly where I had it lined up. This driver shaft, it has completely revolutionized my game off the tee, and it's bleeding into everything else in the best way possible. 178 for my second shot here into this par five. I hammered that drive and actually went into this round on the repair side, took relief. Now I'm going right at 178. Go a little bit. Yeah, that came out relatively heavy. A little high on the face, on the green, putting for eagle. All right, I got exactly 36 feet here for my eagle. Put a good roll on it and see what happens. Ah, thought about that one a second too long. Oh, I felt that. That's all right, that was a great putt. I hit it right where I was looking but it just didn't break. On hole number three, one under. All right, guys, I'm extra, woo. All right, guys, in just under a week, I am dropping my collection with Primo. Super pumped about it. It's been a long time in the process, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Hole number three. I've been hitting driver on this hole lately, so I'm gonna keep doing that. I'm gonna go right at that group of trees and see if I can hit a little bit of a fade. If it doesn't fade, it should be perfectly fine. Or it just draws. Probably still gonna have a wedge in, but that's great course management. We'll just go with that. 78 yards, I got a little 58. I'm gonna play it about 76. A little left but I think it's gonna be a good distance pin high left all right I probably got about 23 feet here for birdie see if we can't do something here overread that puppy great speed though par on the third keeps me at one under through three I feel like the, my my game in general is getting a little more well-rounded especially with having my driver a little more on command Oh, that's such a relief. Hole number four, 165 yards, a little bit downwind. This could not be a better nine iron. So it's just a perfect stock yardage. Why not make one today? That's in the bunker. That was a mental error there by me. I didn't think I had enough club there and then I get up here and it's perfectly pin high. So time to get up and down, 54 in hand. Spin. Gosh, I landed that right where I wanted to. A little too much sand behind the ball for it to spin. I completely did not trust that. That felt like it was breaking this way, but my line was lined up left edge and I just didn't trust it. All right, back to even par. Uh, you know, you just gotta move on from that. A little mental error missing the green. That's okay though. Hole five, this one is a hard dog look to the right. I'm gonna try to hit a draw just off of the corner and hopefully it should put me in the fairway with about 80 yards left. Ha <laughs> ha. 
That was nuclear. I think it's probably one of the best drives I've hit on this hole, to be honest. 73 yards, a little uphill. This is a perfect, like, 74-yard shot. I got 58 in hand. This looks voluptuous. Go. Oh, just a wee bit short. Gosh, this has to be a pretty straight putt. I think, if anything, it's going to go slightly to the right. No. Oh. Gosh, I thought I had it. I pulled it and then I thought last second I might have got away with it and short story I did not. Hole number six, this is an absolute beast of a par five, 587 yards. I'm gonna hit driver right, split these two trees and hit a draw and it usually puts you on the right side of the fairway. This was straight into the wind. I got 265 left. I got two iron. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a big one, but if anything, I just miss a little right and it should be just fine. I'm gonna try to go low two iron and just get one up there somewhere just on the front edge and let it release back to the pin. Oh, that's really short. Didn't hit it very well, but who knows what's good and what's bad. There's nothing new under the sun. Well, put myself in a bit of a tricky situation, but kind of a chicken and egg, egg situation. You got a lot of analogies that I have that often don't come out like I imagine them. Here we go. I mean, if anything, a little long and right is probably the miss. Sit. That's what I meant, long and left. 27 feet for birdie here. I will take that putt any day from that distance. Hey, hole number seven, I'm gonna try to hit a real low one here and get something chasing to the right. That should be really, it should leave me in a really good position. Go! Oh, geez, that went a little farther right than I was expecting. And I didn't know if it was gonna carry on that line, but it did. Gosh, I love this driver. 100 yards on the dot. This is a fantastic number for me, as Henry would like to hear. It's a nine o'clock, 54 degree. Go. Cool. I may have just hit two inches behind that ball. This hole is a little bit of a, a little bit of a challenge so far. Let's see if I can hit two bad shots and one really good shot and get out of here with a birdie. I'll sit. Okay. See if I can, as Grant would say, this is the eraser. Wow, that's golf in a nutshell right there. I mean, to be honest, I hit four very average shots and I, and I made par, so. Hole number eight, I got a par three, it's 186 yards. This is actually a perfect seven iron. See if I can take advantage of it, get one close and make a couple coming in here on the turn. Oh my gosh, get to the green. It's way short. Okay, the short game's gotta show up. I'm a little bit short-sighted. I got 58 in hand. I'm gonna land this about four feet on, I think, and it should release because there's some grass behind the ball. Go! All right, didn't quite release as much as I was expecting, but I got about five feet for par. Oh my, what? All right. Well, I've broken into the uh, positive numbers for the first time today. So let's finish with a three on nine and then take it low on the back nine. But it's been kind of a, just a real slow round. I mean, first hole I played really well, but ever since then I feel like I've kind of been, I don't know, petering a little bit. So gotta make this entertaining for myself and for you guys. We've made it to hole number nine. It goes a little bit to the right. I'm gonna try to hit a little bit of a fade right off of that fountain you see out there. And it should turn out really nice. Stay right there. Hope that stayed just in the right side of the fairway. If not, it'll be just in the rough. It's a pretty good strike. I got 107 yards. This is actually the best yardage I think I've ever had into this hole. So I got that going for me. 54, gonna feel this one out. Hopefully I can get it close. Please go in. Oh! I'm gonna make a, a little bit of a bet here to say that that divot is probably one inch from the hole. I love hitting those shots. Those are my favorite type of golf shots to hit, ones that go close. All right, well, it was about a foot from the hole, so it wasn't an inch, but it spun back a, a little bit. I got about six feet 
coming back up the hill. This would be a good one to make. This could be a real momentum shifter. Come on. Gosh, I needed that in a big way. We made it through nine holes, hole 10, par five. It's very gettable. I'm gonna hit a draw up the right side. And then if I hit this one good, I should be able to get home in two pretty comfortably. Softly. I really tried to crank that one and I thought it may have overdrew, but it's perfect. 235 into the wind. I think I got four and I just gotta hit it good. I'm gonna play it towards the right side and if it draws, it draws. If not, it should be fine. I was not confident about that shot at any moment in time. I'm actually lucky this plugged because if it didn't, it probably rolls into the water. came out of there so saucy. It's so unfortunate because you gotta give yourself better opportunities from there, but it's okay, it's a learning thing. It's a fantastic putt that did not go in the hole. Even par through 10 holes. You like those kind of average rounds to be at even par, and if I can maintain that and raise that floor, it's exactly what I need. Hole number 11, it is very drivable today. 305 to the pin. It's very gettable. I'm gonna go for it. I might have just made it. I think it's on the green. Might be a little long actually. Well, carried it into the back bunker. This is what most people dream of when they when they have bunker shots. Into the wind, downhill lie. It's a perfect storm to do something cool. One time. That's what I like to call pretty good. Sometimes you gotta give yourself a little pat on the back. It's gotta be a straight putt, but it's hard to be 100% confident. Inside, just inside the right edge. And it just stays perfectly straight. Gosh, missed opportunity. That was a fun hole. Hit a great drive, hit a great bunker shot. When putts are straight, they're so hard for me to read. I don't know what it is. All right, guys, we've made it to hole 12, 148 yards, driver in hand, just full send right down the middle. can't believe how good this driver is. I mean, what have I been missing for the last eight months? And who would have known that I would need a Ventus Red to get me dialed? All right, that, I, I mean, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. There's the divot of this ball right there. And we did the math and it was 340 to that divot in the air. It doesn't, I mean, I'm a small guy and sometimes I'm just like confused by that. 95 yards, I'm gonna go low 54, see if I can shove it in the door. Shout out Matt Shar. Downwind, no spin. That's the oldest rhyme in the book. 13 yards long of the pin. I need to take mental note of that just to realize that that was not the right club when it's downwind and less than 100 yards. It's okay though. Go! That was a speed putt and I accomplished that. Two putts from 50 feet are always pretty good. Hole 13, still even par. Um, 192, I got just a perfect little 7-11 here. Try to carry this 190. There is a ridge that I want, I really want to get on that back ridge if it's all possible, so should be a nice full 7-iron. Oh, it's on the green and there is a pin in which that is absolutely a perfect golf shot, just not today. Pretty surprised I got this just short of pin high. I got a little bit of a tricky one up and to the left. This is one where you pick a line, you trust it, and you absolutely go with it, and you do not second guess. That was a hard one to judge. Come on. Those are such confident boosters when you need them. It just makes things so much easier when the putter is working. Five holes left. There's still a lot of golf left to play. I'm even par. I'm gonna go right at that little white sign in between the bunkers.
monster of a drive. Just when I needed it. I've always wanted to have a ball in this fairway and be able to hit a wedge into this green, but I don't think I've ever successfully done that. Today's the day. 73 yards from my second shot. This one turned out really good. Started just in between the tree and the pin. It's gotta go. Go. Hmm. I thought I was gonna slam into the hill and it just got over, which turned out to be a perfect distance. Another great opportunity. I've given myself a lot of those today. Maybe I can convert this one. It's breaking a little bit to the left. Right where I was aiming. They're not breaking today. They're not doing the thing that I'm thinking. Four holes left to play. Par three, par four, par five, par four. I can go four deep in the last four. I'm just saying, I've done it before. Hole 15, 165, par three. 900 in hand, this is a full nine. Yep, that all checks out, it's pretty nice. I thought it was pin high and the wind got it a little bit, but can't complain from 165. This thing has to be breaking left. There's no possible way that it doesn't break left. Get a lot of really high quality putts today. And some of them are just not going in. <sighs> just another par. How many pars have I made today? One birdie, one bogey, and then just a gazillion pars. Three birdies can be made. Keep a positive mindset, stay nice and chill. I'm going right at that tree, winds off the right. I should push it back into the fairway perfectly. I bailed on that just a little bit due to the fact that there's water left that I can reach. I love to see balls going straight. That's my favorite type of ball, is a ball that goes straight. Kind of a grassy lie, so we might be a little bit of a jumper. I want to be a little bit short because there's no room behind it. Yeah, I think 50. Just trust it. 128. That's like an earthquake for gophers right there. I've had a couple of those today. The old center of gravity gets behind the ball and you absolutely dump the club into the earth. Moment of silence for a miss green with a wedge in hand. Try to carry this a little over, I'm gonna have to go over halfway for sure because it's gonna spin a little bit. But just trust it. I can make that, that's easy. That feels like a kind of a gut punch there. Finished strong. I feel like I feel very encouraged by this round of golf because I've struck it so well. Other than about two shots, two holes left, par five, just right of that bunker. Put myself in the fairway, be able to get home in two. think I'm walking right because I'm looking for it but I'm walking right it back to my bag all right so I had a brain fart there I hit that drive and I started walking back to my bag and I was gonna hit another ball because I hit it in the water but then I realized it's hazard and it crossed up here so I'm dropping three get the old cobalt out use the code Micah gift at checkout for a special surprise links in top of the description 243 yards to the pin I'm gonna play this like I was playing in a tournament I'm gonna hit a four iron get myself into a really comfortable wedge place and then see if I can get up and down, make par that way. So I wanna, it's two, what did I say it was, 240? No, I said 243, I wanna hit this 143. Okay, we're, we're, we're doing the math here. 246, 246 minus 70 is, 40 is 230, five. One seventy five two hours later. So I need, I need 75. I need 175. All of that for me to hit it in the water one more time. Actually, it's short of the water. This ball almost went in the water. I got 77 yards, I got 60 degree left. Go! All right, I got that left for par. This would be absolutely nuts. 
I mean, I've done crazier things in golf, so here we go. One putt, and then we're on to the last hole, which is I'm ready to get there after how many shots I've hit on this hole already. I mean, I'm hitting, I feel like I'm hitting the spots I'm looking at. I just cannot get the reads right. Maybe I need to start reading grain and stop worrying about the break. Final hole, see if I can make birdie and make it somewhat respectable. I did not finish well, but I gotta take what I can and, and learn from it. I'm gonna try to hit a little cut, a little low cut up there. Or a low draw, probably gonna be just around the corner. 172 yards. This is an interesting situation I've put myself in, but seven iron, I got a target. Here we go. Gosh dang it, I hit it in the water. What a terrible finish for me. Oh, I didn't, it's over. Gosh, what an adventurous four holes the final four have been. Somehow I'm still alive on this hole and I'm scratching and clawing. Just give me, give me one time. I need one good par to finish. Gosh. Well, that feels like a win, guys. I know that I shot two over par, but I hit the ball really great, and I feel like my game is trending in a really, really good direction. My driver is feeling better than ever, which really does help my entire game. Shout out to the Ventus Red. Shout out to Fujikura. It's really game-changing. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.